Hello everyone, welcome to this exciting Blender tutorial. Today I'll be making my first YouTube video tutorial on Blender. We'll be creating this coins dropping effect. We'll get some coins dropping above the camera. We'll be dropping on a plane and then we'll be having some text behind it for nice effects. So, let's get started. Open Blender. I'm turning on the screencast keys. Let's increase the alpha. Okay. Go ahead and delete the default cube. To do this, press X on the keyboard and delete. Shift A to add a mesh circle. Change from nothing to triangle fan and increase the vertices. In my case, I'm using 45. Good. Zoom in to see it better. Go to the modifier tab, modifier add mirror. Change from object mode to edit mode and from X to Z axis. G to extrude. Yeah. It's okay. Extruding it, you can you can control the width of the coin. Change from perspective to orthographic and top view. Next, turn on the background images. Background image. Add image and open the coin texture. Increasing and decreasing the size of it. Let us control the, the, the size of the coin. In my case, 4.4 works for me. And controlling it on the X as this. We can shift the coin to center it. Change from wireframe to, uh, change from solid to wireframe viewport. Press E to extrude the vertices and S to scale it down. Press E again, right click and then S to scale it down. right here press e again deselect it and then s to scale it down right here okay now we can turn off the background image change from wireframe to solid mode and then perspective mode face select mode select one of the one of the vertices here and it will select the entire ring of the faces connected faces e to extrude right click and then pull it down a bit Good. Change from edit mode to object mode. We can then go ahead and apply the modifier. Change to cycles render and then go to the material tab. Add a new material. You can call it uh, head or any anything you, you want to call it. I'm calling it coin head. Add a new material and call it coin tail. Every coin has a head and a tail. And add a new material and call it middle or maybe coin middle. I'm calling it coin middle. Good. We now change to texture mode. 
add a color and image texture open up the image texture i added i'll be giving the link in the description below so you can download it go ahead and download it if added a coin texture bits we don't see it appearing on the surface of the of the coin we'll be we'll be doing that soon add an image texture and then select the color material i added mm -hmm. drag the little icon below to uh, duplicate or extend the viewport and change to uv shading tab go to edit mode the edit mode viewport to autographic and then into front view change the selection mode to vertices vertex selection mode press a twice so nothing is selected drag the selection on the surface of the coin and select the head and assign it after that deselect it press a twice so nothing is deselected drag the selection boss uh, to the to the service below the coin select the coin tail and click assign then deselect it select the coin middle and select one of the vertices in between the top and the uh, the top and the bottom then select or by trade manifold and select and more click assign and then deselect it again i'll go to the top viewport and then select only the head then you project from view bounds you can see the coin appearing right away next we're going to scale the 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 uv uv surface of the unwrapped mesh to fit the the coin head drag it to center on one of the coin scale it down on the y axis so that it matches the height of the coin texture then s to scale it on the x axis do so press s and x then scale it down to match the coin texture G to move it to center it where you want so by using g and x we can get a nice uh, image or we can project our nice image texture on the coin it's looking good now deselect the coin head and then select the coin tail click on select since it's at the bottom we will change our viewport to the bottom press u again and then project from view bounds the, te the texture stretches on the two coins so we are going to center it on the on the tail by pressing x we can scale it down on either the x axis or y axis and by pressing g we can move it either on the x axis or y axis so using this keyboard um keyboard keys we can scale it to the right proportion we want that's looking good yeah that's looking good let's change to object mode but there is a problem the one cd coin the, the face of the head and the face of the tail mismatch because it seems 
the Ghana must come to where the 2007 is. So let's rotate it. Let's go back to edit mode. Select the tail and then rotate it in the UV shading or UV image shading viewport. Rotate it by pressing R. Then rotate it to where we want. In my case, by pressing R and 180, I rotate it perfectly. Our UV images now matches one of the one of the coin. Change back to perspective mode. And then solid rendered viewport shading. To see what we are doing, let's add an image texture. So go to the world and then open use node. After that, image texture and select the one I added in the in the description below. You can you can even use any any um any environmental texture you have. After that, go to the node editor because we are going to use nodes to control the the look and feel of the material. Select the coin medal, change the diffuse from the default color, change it, go to the hex and type 3D, 3D, 3D. This gives us a dark color and then add a mix shader. By pressing shift A, we can add a shader, add a mix shader and then a glossy shader. The middle of the coin is starting to look like uh, silver. Decrease the roughness of the glossy shader to 0 0.333 or 0 0.2. The middle of the coin looks like uh, silver. It's looking great. Yeah. Let's go ahead and then add little detail to the coin head by selecting the coin head. Let's add a shader to it, mix shader, and then a glossy shader. Connect the glossy shader to the other shader or the mix shader, and then decrease the roughness of the glossy shader. To 0 0.033 and then increase the factor to 0 0.920 mm -hmm. and connect the color of the image texture to the color of the glossy. Our coin is starting to look real green, but we need more uh, detail. Shift A to add a texture and image texture. Open up the normal map I added, the coins normal map I added in the in the package you downloaded. Change from color to non-color and then shift A to add a normal map. Connect the normal map to the normal of the diffuse and you Soon notice that there are huge bumps on the coin texture. Click on the UV and select UV image map and then UV map and then decrease the strength to 0 0.2. Now the coin is looking like a realistic coin. Next, 
shift a and then add invert so invert the color from the image to the texture we are done with the head let's rotate to the tail and give it the same uh, use the same method to give it details so it is rotated let's zoom in to see it better select the coin tail and then come to the uv or node editor shift e to add a mix shader and then shift e again to add glossy shader connect the glossy shader to the mix shader increase the factor to 0 0.920 and then the glossy decreases to 0 0.033 connect the color to the color of the glossy our material is looking great next let's add the bombs by adding a normal map so shift a add a shader texture image texture and select the normal map select the normal map you selected earlier and change the color to non-color data shift a to add ma vector normal map connect the color to the color and then the vector or the normal to the normal of the glossy shader select uv map and then decrease the strength to 0 0.2 good our coin is looking realistic you can go ahead and then add invert shift a color invert good by inverting it we now have a nice looking coin good change to solid viewport shading now we're back it's time to go for the animation of the coin shift a to add a plane scale the plane a uh, little wider mm -hmm. go to edit mode select two vertices here e to extrude and z to extrude on the z axis select two of the vertices Control b to give it a bevel and control the bevel by you know scrolling the mouse middle button up and down mm -hmm. change back to object mode and then smooth the surface bring in here yeah it's looking great now the coin is appearing below the surface so let's pull it up a bit good a coin now lies on the floor perfectly select the surface of the background the background plane align the camera to the view then lock the camera to view by pressing here we can then rotate uh, rotate the viewport and position the camera wherever we want the coin lies perfectly in the middle it's looking great so we can untick that let's create a new uh, view let's change this to render you cannot see what we are doing yeah select the plane with the plane selected go to material and add a new material change the color to a little bluish good it's looking great yeah
change the viewport to node editor and then go to the environment you can see that the environmental texture is connected to the background shift e and add a new texture coordinate and connect the vector connect the generator to the vector of the image editor then shift e to add a mapping and control the environment by rotating on the z axis i want to point the environment of my scene to where the light source are getting into the the room yeah yeah it's good you can then see that our scene is having more light by now shift a to go to orthographic mode or oh, view camera yeah and click on rendered change the viewport to the 3d viewport next select the lamp change from point to sun position it uh, somewhere somewhere right here yeah you can position it where you want but it affects the coin and the shadow it casts onto the background plane the position and rotate it to where you want good right here next change the click on add node below the sun and then change the the let's change the strength to maybe two it's affecting our scene Let's change it to 1.5 year. 1.5 works for me. Now leave the coin. You can see how the shadow is uh, being casted on the plane. It's looking great. You can change the size of the sun. The size affects how the shadow is being casted on the on the on the plane the softness or hardness of the plane increase the size to one or uh, let's let's bring it back to the point one next we'll be animating the coin so move the coin up to the point where it's outside our camera you can see our camera view on top and then 3d viewport below with the coin selected click on add active and change the margin collision margin to 0, 0.00 next 
select the the background and add sorry that one is add passive I just clicked on add active but I should have I should have click on add passive Let's remove it. Let's remove the face we've added to the body. And then select the plane and also remove the faces. The plane, add passive, bring the sensitivity down. And then select the coin and add active. The collision margin change it to 0, 0.00. Good. Now play the animation. You can see the coin falling down. But my problem is it is falling through the floor let's rotate the coin let's keep rotating it so it's no more falling through the coin uh, falling through the floor yeah let's rotate it again play the animation it falls let's rotate it again and then play the animation again no let's rotate it so we we'll keep rotating it so it's no longer falling through the floor good and let's play wow it's looking great our coin no longer falls through the floor let's go to the last frame and then duplicate the coin and bring it aside a bit The two of them falls but one the first one just passed through the ground so select the first one or the second one then rotate it a bit so none of them falls and we playing around and then rotating them around so I see that none of them is falling great now both of them fall to the plane without passing through it it's looking great i got two coins now next duplicate both of them i'll just duplicate one of them rotate it and see how it falls the three falls to the ground that's looking great then select the three of them shift d to duplicate it and move it to the 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 left side of it then rotate it play the animation once again five of the coins fall to the ground but one of them passes through <coughs> let's rotate the one passing through the ground and see if it will pass through let's rotate it here good I like the animation now we got six coins in the animation and none of them is falling through the ground select all six shift D to duplicate it <coughs> move it aside a bit and then Rotate it. Play the animation again. Oh, good. But some coins fell through the the floor. Let's 
let's play the animation and see yeah about two coins or oh, one one of the coins so let's rotate that one too play the animation once again yeah none of them falls to the ground we got all 12 coins on the plane so if you want to add uh, maybe 100 coins it's, it's tedious work but you you have to keep duplicating them let me duplicate uh, this one too so a total of 18 coins is looking great select all of them just one of them fell through the floor rotate rotate the first one a bit oh good good now change to the camera view so let the camera move it to the left position the camera where you want this feels good to me so i'll be keeping this viewport or i'll be keeping this uh, camera position let's play the animation wow so the camera is able to capture all the coins and the coins animation at this position so i'll maintain it let me bring it back and then move it up a bit lock camera to view then let me position the camera where i want you can be playing around with this after getting the coins to fall to the ground without uh, falling through the plane you can position the camera where you want and then animate the, the camera if you like to I'm adding a text shift A to add a text then bring it back into view mm, pull it to where the the text or the, the text is visible not below the coin go to edit mode backspace to delete and write whatever you want here I'm just writing Resolve Studios go to the F where the F is written and then drag your mouse over the extrude to extrude it give it a bevel depth of 0 0.005 and then 5 resolution and center the text at where the cursor is yeah pull it behind the coin so that none of the coin none of the coins uh, touches touches the text scale it and rotate it to your 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 like good lock camera to view and then position the the camera that's where you get every every piece of information in one one frame in the camera so if we render it that's how we see it let's add material to the text at the material tab with the text selected at the material tab rename the material to text and then change the color to blue so we added a new material and renamed it to text and then
change the color to blue this is looking great wow It seems one of the coin is appearing in the camera's viewport. So position the camera as well. Only the Rosal Studios, the text is visible. And press I to add location, uh, location and rotation keyframe. Then go to the last frame of the animation. Rotate and position the camera to where you want uh, the camera to be. After that, you can go ahead and then press I to add another keyframe of location and rotation. Good. So come to where the frame starts and then play your animation. You can see the camera moving so we've added an animation to the camera the location and rotation of the camera animates through the entire entire scene good so what next let's go to render tab but before that let's click on the vector under the the vector under the render render layer and shift e to add a filter vector blur add a def to the z and then the vector to the speed this way we can we can add a little blur to the, the fallen coins. This will add a little, uh, this will enhance the scene. It will add a little detail to our coins. You get a nice falling effect if you add that. Go to the render tab and under the render presets, choose the one you like. I like to use the 1280 by 720. Select where you want to keep the file, the output file under the output. Change the format to whatever you want. I'm using AVI JPEG. Under the sampling, increase the light sampling to 0.2 or 0.25. It's great. And then filter glossy increases to 10. It's looking great. Now the render or the sampling panel, the render render samples here the higher the better i'm putting it at 20 let me see the render time in case the render time goes up i'll i'll have to decrease the rendering to maybe 10 for faster results but remember that the higher the better Well, this is taking me almost one minute. Okay, half a minute. Great. Let me go to the last frame. 
and then oh, what next what next Let me bring the render samples down. Let me bring it to 10. I'm doing this because of the tutorial. For better results, you must increase it. So your final your final file or your final output uh, must be maybe above 50 or above 100 keep it above 100 for better results but for now i'm keeping it at 100 or i'm keeping it at 10 rather so once you're done save your project before hitting render so select where you want to save it and type a name you want coin tutorial save the blender file after that hit render It will take a long time for you to render, but I'm skipping to the end of this. Good, you are back. Let's play the animation. This is what we got. It's looking great. We got the coins falling to the to the ground. Wow. So that's it for this tutorial. Change it back to 3D view to see your your animation scene you can like subscribe and share this after finishing everything come to where you selected your output format or output file to be and you find it there that's it for this tutorial remember to subscribe for more and comment below in case uh, you want a special tutorial about something uh, to help you keep being updated uh, subscribe for more thank you